Victoria and the Commonwealth have clashed over the carbon tax ahead of a leaders' meeting tomorrow. Ted Bailey claims it'll cost 24,000 Victorian jobs. But Julia Gillard says his modelling doesn't factor in the billions of dollars in federal compensation. Speaker, um... Tonight he's dining with the Prime Minister, but tomorrow Ted Bailey and his fellow Liberal Premiers will abandon the small talk for a united attack on the carbon tax. We're not going to stand idly by when jobs are under threat in Victoria and the economy is under threat. He'll be armed with modelling by Deloitte Access Economics, estimating the carbon tax will slash Victoria's economic output by $3 billion and cut jobs growth by 24000 But the Prime Minister says the modelling can't be trusted because it ignores the billions of dollars in compensation in the carbon tax package. This isn't an age for political stunts. This is an age for getting on with the job. The Premier's office has released the conclusions drawn by the modelling, but not the assumptions on which it was based. It'll be interesting to know how much this Deloitte report cost each and every Victorian taxpayer. A dodgy report to be used as a political weapon. We're being told by business leaders across the state and indeed our national business leaders that this is going to have a significant impact. Ahead of the COAG confrontation in Canberra, there were fiery scenes in state parliament at the conclusion of lower house question time. Tempers flared when Minister Michael O'Brien raised union links to a pro-Palestinian group that's been targeting Israeli-owned businesses. Speaker Ken Smith called him to order, but he continued outraging Labor MPs. Order! 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 The member for Monbok will come back to the chamber. For that outburst, Labor frontbencher James Molino was thrown out of the chamber for the rest of the day. Francis Bell, ABC News, Melbourne.